This type of container here is it's a one pound container with a screw on lid. And this one has cocoa butter in it. But I put clay in these and, and all kinds of chemicals and I'll put a label on or what's in it. Very handy to have. You can use uh, the small butter dishes like uh, I don't know, country crock or whatever that's you know one pound size. They work very good to put your uh, supplies in also. This is a bottle of vegetable oil I picked up. I thought it was kind of unique because it has a lid on it. Much like a uh, laundry detergent, it's got a spout on here. And uh, if you dribble any over it, it drips back inside the jug. It don't make, run down the side and make a mess. And I put uh, various types of oil in here. This one I've written on it olive oil so I know it's not vegetable oil or something else. But I, I think this is just a handy little jug to, to measure your uh, supplies in or your uh, recipe. Crisco. Crisco has changed their formula in the, in the past. In the past it was soybean shortening hydrogenated soybean oil. That means it's a solid shortening. But you've got to be careful when you buy this stuff. If you buy the Walmart brand, the, the real inexpensive stuff, you're going to look at the label and you're going to see it has beef fat in it. And uh, I don't know the exact ingredients. This is the new version is hydrogenated soybean oil and palm oil. The old version was just soybean oil and cottonseed oil. So, so be aware of what what ingredients you're buying. Usually I buy this stuff in like a 50 pound bucket, but I don't use a lot of hydrogenated soybean oil, so I've just been buying a three pound jug or a container as I use it. And that makes makes good sense because that that bulk pack lasts me two years and I don't need to have it on the shelf that long. It can uh, actually spoil. Okay, let's, let's talk about the uh, little stick blenders. Ob obviously, this is a brand name that everybody recognizes. And uh, read on here very carefully. It says 250 watt motor. I don't know if you can read that or not. But this is a 250 watt motor. It's a very strong mixer. And it's ideal for uh, uh, mixing the soap. This one made by Hamilton Beach. It has a 200 watt motor. And the problem I have with this one is right, right where the uh, attachment fixes on the motor, the rubber seal in it gets oil saturated and then it drops off in your mixing bucket. So I had to put a piece of uh, tape on here to keep it from falling apart. Which, it's not made to be uh, mixing oil, it's made to mix drinks and, and water based products, but it's, it's still a very good mixer. Another thing I want to point out is is the grip on the handle. You need to find one that, that you can hang on to because it's common for your hands to be very slippery. This is another one I picked up somewhere else. And uh, I believe it has a 150 watt motor. I'm not exactly sure without reading the box. It says on the top 150 watts. And I bought one of these from Walmart that was a 100 watt motor. It was some off brand. It was very inexpensive. It didn't last me a month. So spend a little money and get you a good quality mixer. You notice I have three or four of these on the shelf that are still in the box. And that's because if one burns up on me, I'm going to get it off the shelf because I don't have time to go to town or I don't want to take this plastic spoon I have and stir on it for an hour and a half until it's thick enough to pour it in a mold. If you understand where I'm coming from. Um, if you have a, like a Sam's Club or a Costco or maybe you're a member to one of those big club stores, you can buy soybean oil and perhaps olive oil or some of your other products at a retail location. I order mine and it's delivered by UPS because those stores are not available in this area. This is a five gallon jug of vegetable oil and it's a very good price. This comes from Sam's Club. Like I said, if you don't have access to that store, then the, the, the bulk oil suppliers that deliver to restaurants is a good alternative. And that's usually where I buy my, my oils from. Next thing I want to show you is, is when I'm making my videos, I've got to put a lot of lights in here. And uh, these are photo lights. I have a set of lights with the umbrella used in like a, a photography studio. 
and they come with a, a 60 watt bulb and this is an 80 watt bulb equivalent to 400 watts of incandescent light so if you're making a lot of videos you need to invest in some uh, good lighting and uh, I ordered these online this this one here was back ordered it took like a month to get here and I had a little accident when I was making a video and broke my bulb so I had to order another one from another vendor because I couldn't wait for these to uh, come in on back order The other thing I want to show you, I want to try to explain the light to you a little bit. Let's see, the wattage is 800, the lumens is 4000, the color temperature 5100 Kelvin. That's true of all lights. This one's just a little bit on the blue side. It's supposed to be like uh, equivalent to daylight between noon and one o'clock. Um, standard incandescent light is uh, 27,000 and it has a yellow color to it and my favorite color is around 4100 Kelvin it's just slightly yellow and slightly blue but typically photo studios suggest using 5000 Kelvin this is a different bulb the one I'm using right now and it's 5600 Kelvin It's also 105 watts, which would be uh, comparable to around 500 watts of an incandescent bulb. Let me show you the bulb here real fast. Compact, comes packaged very well. This is the king daddy of uh, those uh, CFL light bulbs, compact fluorescent lights. You notice that it's very, very long and it's very uh, large in diameter. And it doesn't matter if it's a curly light or straight tubes like this. This one was a little, little uh, uh, less expensive to get the straight one. And uh, I believe that's the reason it was back order so long. But I just want to show you the light bulbs. Show you right on here. I hope this uh, comes in where you can read it. Looks like it's a little too blurry. There we go. But it's got the color. Well, the temperature of the bulb is 5100 Kelvin, the voltage, and the website where you can maybe buy it from. I think that's about all the time we have for this video. And I, I was uh, thinking about all the people out here that keep asking me questions about uh, where do you get your supplies, what do you use, uh, how do you do it. And I'm, I'm trying to show you uh, things I learned along the way that, that will save you time. I mean, uh, a lot of these products you can buy from like a thrift store. You don't have to invest a lot of money. You don't have to buy a, a, a new equipment. But I do suggest you get some good spatulas. I showed you in a, a Tupperware video the other day. That, that they make some very good products. Um, they're not cheap, but they do last. Um, take care. Enjoy your soap making. And have a great day.